Hi everyone. Thank you for joining us. ETEPS ISLD is a multi-layered one-line view of the digital twin. I'm going to show you how to use many of ETEPS tools to easily create and modify your single line diagram so you can visualize, collaborate, and analyze electrical networks. Now let's say you have annotation issues. Let's say that the annotations are, are, are pretty sporadic and messy. We'll fix one of them. So I'll align my annotations for lump two. Um, I'll use the center alignment tool. I can automatically align them left, center, right, or space them across vertically. And this center aligns them to each other. I'm going to save my alignment position for lump loads. So I right click, go to info annotation and hit save position. Now I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut shift right mouse click. When I use shift right mouse click, it highlights all the lump loads. And when I apply my annotations globally, it fixed all the lump loads. And if you have one that's, that's isolated and you need a fix, I use my keyboard shortcut letter I. If I, when I click the letter I, it automatically fixes the annotation for that specific lump load. Speaking of keyboard shortcuts, I highly recommend everybody gets familiar with the keyboard shortcuts within ETAP. They make modifying and manipulating the one line, one line diagram so much quicker. So if you go to help, help search, here, here we have a list of all our keyboard shortcuts. Take the time to print this out, um, save it, become familiar, and utilize these whenever you're doing your next project. I'm gonna cover some of my favorites now. One of the keyboard shortcuts I like to use when, when viewing a large one-line diagram is F11. And essentially F11 expands the screen to just focus on the one line. It removes all my toolbars, the system toolbars removed, all the mode toolbars removed, and the study mode toolbars removed. And I can just focus on the one line diagram. Um, so that one's very helpful. And I could just hit F11 again to come out of it. And then if I have multiple presentations, so within ETAP, I can have different presentations as we talked about when we talked about the multidimensional database. I have a relay view here where my relays are shown. Originally they were hidden. And then I have another presentation that color codes by voltage on a black background. And if I'm using these for different purposes, I can simply use control and an arrow to dock them. So just like a Windows application that you might be familiar with or Adobe, um, many of them have this shortcut. I can use control arrows and I can move the windows to any particular location that I want quickly using that keyboard shortcut. And so those are two common keyboard shortcuts I use when, when I wanna change the way I'm viewing the presentations that, that I'm using. Next, I'm gonna use these two presentations to do a quick what if analysis. So I have these two side by side. I'm gonna run a load flow and I'm going to compare these two projects, one with the capacitor on and the other off. And one of the keyboard shortcuts I like to use in this case is T. So when you use T, you can open a breaker or open a switch. And all you do is toggle with T back and forth. I highlight the equipment, I hit T and it closes. So that's a quick one for me. I can pick one element or the whole branch. I hit T, I can run a load flow. I view my results. We'll cover data blocks shortly. And on this one, I'm going to call, I'm going to copy from normal with the capacitor open. I'm going to call it cap closed. I'll set my study view presentation to cap closed. Use T again to toggle closed. I can run my load flow and instantly compare side by side with a quick configuration change and do quick what if scenarios and look at the results without creating any new databases or project files. I can simply use the same project, the same one line, uh, one with relays hidden and the other with the relays exposed. And then we can quickly compare the results of, of these two different conditions. And uh, you can easily manipulate your model again in toggling all your protective devices and switching using the keyboard shortcut T. Now expanding this one line, what you see here is our composite network. 
So the composite network is just a way to consolidate the one line diagram. So you can put an unlimited amount of layers and elements in your composite network. They're nested. So you can see all my composite networks in this view, in this list here. I can select them. So you can create substations. You can consolidate MCCs just so you don't have one large one line taking up the whole main platform. And I just double click and we can go unlimited layers deep. They're still electrically connected. So you take advantage of composite networks to consolidate different views and make your one line easy to manage. Let's say I have these motors. I have motor 9, 11, and 12. Um, and motor 9 has the correct data. Motor 11 and 12 are incorrect. So I can highlight all three motors. My reference device is the one with the bracket. So I'm going to use control click. Uh, control left click to change the bracket and then I can say shift C and when I say shift C it's going to ask me are you sure you want to replicate the properties of motor 9 to other selected elements so this allows me to copy the properties from motor 9 and paste them to all other highlighted elements using shift C when I say yes you'll see that these the data from motor 11 and 12 now are received from motor 9 and all of this data was pasted over so this is our copy data and paste to many devices so you just have to highlight the ones and select the bracket and it's easy to copy and paste the data over to different elements and if i want to add one more i can highlight this branch control shift drag control shift drag duplicates that motor uh, that whole branch and uh, I've created a copy from one of my existing one. Again, that's just done by highlighting and clicking Control Shift, and then I can drag it over and duplicate that equipment along the bus. Another tip and trick that a lot of people may not know is I can double click the ID and change the ID straight on the one line diagram. So I don't have to open the editor I can do it directly from the one line, directly from the interface, and you'll notice it updates the editor automatically. So you no longer have to double click the motor, open and make the change in the device. You can simply be in your presentation directly and double click the ID itself, making it editable and changing the name to your preferred name of this device. Thank you everyone.